Oh, my egg is safe. Thank goodness. I have brought your food to go big and strong. Whoa, what are those? Back off. Stay away from my baby. Leave us alone. Ow, please leave us alone. I'll be back, I promise. Imagine spawning into a hardcore Minecraft world, but as a Hydra Dragon, a newly hatched Hydra Dragon with your mother dragon being attacked by the dangers of the sea, new ocean biomes, and all types of different ocean mobs. Will I be able to survive these elements in the hardcore world? Will I be able to find the answers of the Hydra Dragon? Or will I fall short? Watch the whole video to find out. Huh, where am I? Oh, wait, did I just hatch out of an egg? This must be my nest. Wait, usually if you hatch out of a nest, that means you had a mom, right? Where's my mom? I mean, it looks like I'm surviving underwater, so I think this is where I'm supposed to be. What is this? An altar. Wow, there's all different types of dragons in this world. I'll grab this here. And so I explored the seas. I didn't really know where I was going or why I was here, but it was just really cool to explore. It looks so cool around here. Oh, is that a fish? What is that? Is that a crab? Uh, you seem friendly, but I, I'm going to be hungry really soon, so I'm going to have to kill you. Oh, thank- Oh, I just killed you for no reason. You, you didn't drop anything for me to eat. My bad. Hello? Wow, what are you guys? These things look way too small to even provide any type of food. Well, it doesn't hurt to try. An aqua crystal. Hmm. I'm so confused. Where am I? Oh, what is that? Oh my goodness. Is that a baby drown? I don't have any mana or experience. What do you mean? What does this mean? It must be my dragon abilities on the bottom right. I just joined this world and there was already threats chasing me. I was not going to be safe around here. This video interruption is sponsored by Manscaped. New video, new year, new vibes, new you. You know, you gotta look clean, you gotta look fresh for them boys and them girls. I mean, both of them have cooties, but regardless, Valentine's Day is just around the corner and let me introduce you to your new love, Manscaped, the Performance Package 4.0. If you guys have not heard what Manscaped is, it is an all-in-one, head-to-toe male grooming hygiene kit. Now, let me show you what I got. I've had this for a few months now and I've been able to use it and I gotta say it is top-notch quality and it's just really safe. No owies. Very sharp, but no owies. Look at this. My favorite product in there easily is the Lawnmower 4.0. You see like this? This is Harry Switch and now this is Squeaky Shiny Switch right there. And it's good for trimming those, uh, you know, sensitive areas. It has blades and an LED light to show you kind of what's going on down there, making sure you're safe. And the performance package comes with all different types of things. This crop preserver is a deodorant and it smells so good. I didn't even know that was a thing, but it's amazing. They even had this weed whacker here and I've been using it and my nostrils have been opened up. But look at this whole thing they gave me this is insane so if you guys are interested in this well guys they're running a valentine's day special so don't wait guys go to manscaped.com and use my promo code switch on the screen right now to get 20 percent off and it's free international shipping plus you get two free gifts right now so make sure you go click the link in the description and use code switch uh we love my friends over at manscaped back to the video I kept exploring around the water and i even found this little ravine but i had no tools to mine anything i was just so confused what is that what is that? That is not a human. We're just going to let him float there and go this way. I'm so confused, like what is going on? Hey there, little sea dragon. Welcome to this world. I have been watching you since you were a little egg. I am sorry to say your mother was driven away by the great drown lord. Oh wow, really? Where can I find her? She was chased out and pushed away by the swordfish going west. She is still alive but is looking for you while being hunted down. Here, these belong to her. They'll help you along your journey. It was kind of weird running into a talking pufferfish, but at the same time, it was useful and just really cool because he gave me these insane tools. He didn't really give me his name, so I decided to call him Puffy. These tools that he'd given me, apparently they belong to my mother, and they actually work so well. There was no punishment mining stuff underwater, and so I explored the world and I started getting resources. I even started making out a little base and gathering whatever I could. I tried to find a nice dark area, that way I'd be safe and just avoid as much mobs as possible. And as I was collecting kelp, I ran into this skeleton. He literally gave me a jump scare. You came out of nowhere. He started chasing me. I just backed up. I didn't know if I was ready to fight yet, but I pulled out my Neptune axe and boom, I hit him in one shot. I didn't know what I was going to eat yet. Then I got pricked in the butt. I don't even know what by. Oh my God. I turned around and it was a swordfish. It chased me right into the base. No, 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 no. 
I thought I retreated well enough, but the swordfish went right through the crack. Luckily, I killed it before it could take me out. It dropped me one piece of fish, but apparently that fish made me sick. I don't know if I had a special diet. But then, I started cooking the kelp. It seemed like the kelp wasn't upsetting my stomach, so that was going to be my main food source. The following day, I found these fishes, and they seemed very interesting. They were really flat, and they were blue. They were pretty cool. I ate one, and actually, it was good for my stomach, so I definitely know that eating fish is okay for me. I don't know why I did this, but I saw a pack of coyotes above land, and I decided to pick on them. I quickly retreated to the water, because I did not want anything to do with them. Then I even tried to collect some berries, but that also upset my stomach. So I guess I had to eat very specific things. Um, what is that? Did those seem friendly? That does not. Is that a shark? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, I got it. Oh no, there's... Oh no, now everything's after me. Oh my god, did the shark drop anything? Okay, I need to be careful. Come on, weave. No, ow. Oh my gosh. Are we going in? Oh, thank God I can take it out in one hit. And they drop raw, raw cod. Awesome. What is this? This is like a dragonfly. This is above ground. <gasps> Why is it? Its mouth just extended. Now that I know the tools that my mother had given me were really strong, I was okay going out to the open sea. And so I traveled and explored. And I found this. And in chest, there was a fishing rod with mending in it. It was guarded by drowns, but I took care of him easily. I continued exploring, and there was some good loot out there. Oh my god. Wait. Are these sharks? Why is... Okay, I didn't think sharks traveled in packs. Stay away. Oh my god, of course I'm being chased by drowns too. Okay, I need to just weave and take him out one at a time. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Why? Since when is it drowned so fast? Of course it's a baby drown that's so fast. Oh my gosh, leave me alone. Oh my god, they dropped fish. This is good, this is good. We need more fish. Okay, oh, okay. drowns are literally... The drowns are helping the sharks. The sharks aren't even that strong. Stay away. <gasps> oh... That shark just took out the drown. Now I gotta take you out. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. They're taking out everything. Oh, okay. I got him. Yeah, I got some more food now too. That's good. That's really... Oh my god. Of course when I get back home, it's just surrounded by drowns. Okay, please. I'm just trying to get back home. Why do you dive... Why is this one faster? Wait, that's on a drown. What is this? What are you dropping? This one drops sea kelp. What? Huh. That one was not like these guys. Because these guys aren't as aggressive. Wait. These aren't regular drowns. What are these things? Dude. Stay away. Okay, I got him. Wait. Where am I? What is... It? Oh my god, thank god there's water here. I can live. What? Wait, what? I'm back. What? Okay, okay, okay. What the heck just happened? Oh my god. <gasps> what the heck? Okay, what is this? I just got this in my inventory. The abyss, the other side. Wait. Why can't I fit through this anymore? I swear I just fit through this. Huh. I guess I'm getting bigger? I gotta open this up a bit. I look a tiny bit bigger. Does that mean I'm getting stronger? Because that's good. If I'm getting stronger, that's always a good sign. Okay, I need some more wood and resources, so let's just chop all these here. Let me keep getting this wood, though. I'm gonna need a lot of wood. Let's just keep collecting. There's not very much wood underwater, so I guess we, <laughs> we get as much as we can right now, actually. Ah, perfect, perfect. Let me get some sticks. Whoa! Um, wait, what? What's wrong with me? What's, wait, what's going on with me? I'm dripping water off me? Oh, oh! Oh, gosh, I'm taking damage. Oh, I need to be back in the water. Oh, God, where's the water? Where's the water? Where's the water? Is this a hole for water? Oh, there's a water hole here. Oh my god, please get back in. Ow, 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 I'm still hurting. Okay. Oh, I see. I now understood. I had to be in water for a certain amount of time or I'd dry out. Hey, sheeps, I need to kill you guys. I actually need to make a bed. Oh, that's a grizzly bear. Um, I'm just going to go this way. That's a bear. We definitely don't want to mess with any bear. <gasps> this 
Wait, what just killed that? Whoa, that's a warthog. Okay, but what is this building though? I just ran into this. There's, there's a warthog at the door, so I'll, I'll take care of that. Does anybody else hear that buzzing noise? You should go to sleep first. What is this? I just broke it. And it's still making that noise. This is kind of sus. I don't... I, I mean, I'll take this anvil though. After taking the stuff from that house, I did not want to find out what that was or who lived there. So I got out of there right away. <gasps> what is that? What are these guys? They're like fishes with super long noses. Okay, good thing they're not aggressive, but... Hey guys, zombie, stay away. Okay, I'm trying to have a moment. What is this thing? I, I, okay, maybe I shouldn't have killed it. Okay, we're back at the base. Okay, very good. No mobs either. Wait, what is that? <gasps> wait, I mean, that's definitely a fish, but wait, you know what? Does look, this fish looks like the one from the pet store. This has got to be a beta. This has got to be a beta fish. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, I, uh, uh, is there any chance I can catch it and make it my friend? Oh man, I gotta, I gotta smelt some iron first. I gotta smelt some iron first. Okay, got my bucket. Beta, please be out here. Oh my god, yes. Wait, you're not the beta I was just looking at. Where's the other guy? Oh, right there. Oh my god, there's two of them. They're like similar, but not. Oh my gosh, okay, wait. You're not getting away from me. Can I catch you? <gasps> The beta fish bucket. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I need I need to I need to Let's just put him Let's put one right here. Okay. Sorry. I know I know you need more room to swim. I'll bring you more water, I promise. One sec. There you go. There should be enough water for now. I'm gonna give you some lighting. <gasps> Did it just change colors on me? This is the beta, right? What? The beta are Wait, there's one right here too. There's three of them. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make the coolest fish tank. I feel like a human. I'm literally a dragon, but I, I love betas. <gasps> that one is so pretty. Whoa! Wait, wait. Oh my god. Dude, uh, I kind of want to watch this play out, but at the same time, I don't want him to die. <gasps> Which one just lived? The brown one lives. Oh my god, guys. I literally just watched the beta fight. Okay, from now on, we're just gonna do this. But luckily, there's another one out here. I think. <gasps> there it is. Oh, oh my god, there's a spider over there. Let's just get you in this bucket before it's too late. Alright, come here. Okay, that was my bad. Rest in peace to that beta right there. That's definitely my fault. Rip beta in the comment section right now. That is completely the owner's fault. Oh, that was the pretty one too. I'm sad. Do I eat this one? No, 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 no. I got I can I bring it back to life? <laughs> if I throw it back in the water, will it come back to life? No. Uh, I take full blame for this one. Okay, we're going to need to frame this beta. That's kind of my fault. Um, yeah. Now that I could finally make iron armor, I realized there was more space on the left side of my screen. I could put my tools in my dragon inventory, I guess. And that would free up a lot of space on my hotbar. But I went out to go see if it worked, and it actually did. So now that I just have them stored in my dragon body, I would have so much more space. No way. Is that a jellyfish? Ow! That's a jellyfish! Oh, ow, ow! Oh my god, it I can't see. Whoa, whoa! Jellyfish, I think we got off on the wrong foot. Am I gonna die? No, no way I'm dying. Okay, first of all, you gotta stay away from me. Jellyfish, come on! Come here! I don't mean any harm, I just wanna appreciate your beauty. Okay, I'll do it from a distance. Dang, it's awesome. I was now feeling a little bit more comfortable with my environment and my surroundings, so it was time to do some mining because we were still lacking on resources. And the fact I didn't need my tools, it was so efficient. Hello, little lobster. Hey, oh, he's got his arms out. I mean, no harm, trust me. Some of the mobs in here were so cute. But of course, the regular Minecraft mobs are always here to ruin the experience and the day. But of course, don't worry, your boy took care whoa, of it. Whoa, 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 what is this? Is this like an eel? Hello, eel. I think you're friendly? Oh my goodness, hello. I then began collecting some obsidian because I know I need it for later. And this pickaxe worked so good underwater. I was able to gather obsidian so fast. Wait, what is that? Is that a... I want to say a whale? He's not a dolphin. Hello there. Are you friendly? Wow, you can swim. Hello. Okay, 
Um, I'm dizzy. Oh god. I think we're good. I think we're friends. We're f I continued mining the caves, but I was quickly reminded how dangerous it was. Not only did I have to keep track of how much water I had on the bottom right there, you guys can see, but I had to watch out for the mobs. I did not want to dry out, because then I'd be taking extra damage. I did not want to die in this world. There were so many creepers in this cave, but this creeper actually revealed these. Yes, sir, diamonds. Oh my goodness. Dang, there's seven of them too. Oh, what is this block? Wait, why does it sound like glass? What is this? Elder Prismarine. Interesting. I randomly went up to the surface and I saw a wandering trader. He was just floating there with two of his llamas. His trades weren't very good and his nose actually kind of moved, which was pretty interesting. And unfortunately, I was still smaller than these llamas. I had so much more growing to do. <gasps> no! The diamonds! No way. What is this? Are you a seahorse? What? Can I ride you? Wow. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Can I get you to follow me? Here, do you like fish? Come on. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Hello. Are you bigger than me? Wow, you're still bigger than me. Oh my god, this is the coolest mob ever. What's up? I mean, follow me if you want. I would like to take you home, but... You keep doing your thing. Oh my gosh. Later in the day, I found a boat that had crashed on land. I wanted to explore it to see if I could find any loot, but there was way too many mobs. I was freaking out. I tried to go underneath but I still wanted to find the loot within the chest. I kept searching, but I didn't find any luck. All I found was a bunch of creepers and zombies, just everything trying to pick on this Hydra Dragon. Once I was able to clear enough mobs, I tried to do it again, but unfortunately, I was chased out of there. I did not want to take the risk of dying. Oh, this might be where all the drowns are coming from. There's literally so many. Okay, I gotta take this thing out. Is there a spawner? Okay, why are the creepers looking like that? Come on. Stay away from me. They still, they're still spawning. Ow, this one has a rod. <gasps> Creeper! Oh my gosh. Okay, let's be careful. I only have not very much kelp left. There were so many drowns there, but I was able to take them all out. And I actually just destroyed this whole structure. I don't know how they were spawning, but I did not want to take any risk. Oh no, there's that thing again. Loki kind of looks like Venom. Spider-Man. The human spider. Yeah, you go that way. I'll go, I'm going back home. Oh. This island actually looks so cool with the bamboo. I mean, the creeper is not too much. I'm going to light this up. Is this pink sand? Oh my god, it's pink sand. Okay, yeah. I'm going to light this up and maybe come back to this later. You guys got to go though. I want to make this my home. Wow, it looks so cool. There was drowns everywhere, but I saw this one with the trident, and so I charged him with full speed. I was quickly reminded how strong they are. They hurt so much. Oh my god, die, 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 die. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh wow, another beautiful island. With pink sand. Or purple. Now, is this supposed to be like a dragonfly birdfish? Like, what is this supposed to be, guys? It's got like a big stomach on the bottom. It looks really cool. Oh god, that does not look friendly. That one has like a dark ominous vibe to it. I'm gonna go just swim underneath you. Uh, I don't think it's swimming for me. I think it might be friendly. I'm not risking it anyways. I finally got home after a long trip and ready to rest. Little did I know. Oh, uh, wait, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No, wait. No, 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 no. Stay outside. Stay outside. Nope, don't even bother. Stay away. Oh my gosh. What the heck? There's like 30,000 spiders here. Oh my god. Uh, I don't I don't really mess with spiders to be honest. I got to get out of here. Come on. Oh my gosh, I need to block this off. Yeah, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? I am not dealing with this. I had to get out of here. There was literally spiders surrounding my whole entire base. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a big fan of spiders. And so I put a chest in a boat, I loaded all my stuff, and I was still getting bothered by this spider. This is the exact reason why I was leaving. 
I kept trying to get in the boat with all my belongings, but I guess I wouldn't fit. Oh, is this a dragon? I think these were meant for humans. It wasn't working. Yeah, I'm leaving. I am not dealing with that. Nope. We are getting out of here. Bye, home. Oh, no. Once I was far enough away from my base on the boat, I hopped back into the water because I was a sea dragon and I swam a lot faster. I didn't know where I was going, but I just knew I was going away. Oh, there's one with a trident. Oh, my God. That one actually almost hit me. Come here. Man, this open sea is dangerous. Come here. Ow. The trident hurts. Drop one. Oh, he didn't. Okay, there's so many drowns in the ocean. <gasps> oh, wow. It's an island. Oh, this island looks so good. This was like the one I saw earlier. Let's see if it's worth it. This island was definitely worth it, guys. It was so beautiful. It was just small enough for me, and so I wanted to set up camp. But first, I had to clean it up a bit, place down my stuff, and away I worked. Hey, little dragon, uh, over here. Yeah, that's me. It's me, come down to the water. Wait, where? Oh, is that you, Puffy? Oh, I'm coming. How's it going, man? I heard your mother. She is alive and is calling for you. I was swimming around and heard a loud roar, and it was coming from the ocean monument. The Drown Lord must have teamed up with the swordfish to capture the sea dragons. They weren't behind it, but the Drown Lord was directing the enemies. I couldn't believe what Puffy was saying. My mother was still alive. I had to do something about this. The swordfish had teamed up with the Drown Lord to take my mother. I had to do something about this. And I know this ocean monument wasn't too far off where I was living. So I had to go check to see if it was true for myself. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. The why is there like... There's like 20 drowns here. Oh my god. Okay. I gotta see if this is true. Is the pufferfish lying to me? Ow. Oh my gosh. And when I got over there, he wasn't lying. There was the ocean monument. Oh no, no. I, I'm not ready for this. Oh goodness. Oh my god, I just want to get home. Let me get to my base. Oh no, there's one with a trident. Okay, I gotta get that one first. I can't let him take over this island. Ow! Oh my god, that hurt. Oh my god, stay away! Goodness, okay. I should just walk around in circle. I was easily overrun by drowns here, but I did a circle strategy. I would circle them and take my hits. Wait, my and eventually, I did kill them all. They knew where I was, and they were sending drowns after me. Okay, I'm gonna eat this weak dragon heart. Oh, I just ate a bunch. Oh, wow. I just, I think I just grew bigger. I definitely got more hearts. Do I hit harder though? When I got back on land, I had some dragon hearts and I ate them. The more hearts I ate, the bigger and the stronger I was getting. I was progressing and then maybe I could go save my mother. I spent that next day actually exploring the dragon's abilities. There was so much I could do and things I could use to my advantage to fight enemies. All right, let's try the first skill here. Oh! I just electrocuted this guy. Oh! I don't know what this does, but here we go. Oh! No way, that was crazy. I literally just blew him up. Okay, let's activate this. This one takes a little bit longer. Oh. Oh, I think this grants me an effect. Oh, I think when I kill things, I get more XP. Wow, that's actually really strong. Okay, I'm activating it. Oh! It gives me full vision underwater. Wow, okay, this is gonna be super useful. Okay, it looks like I have a mana bar too. Alright, let's try this one. I think this is my favorite one yet. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, I almost died. I gotta get out of here. Oh, why are they so fast? Who's that guy? Oh, my skill isn't ready. It has a timer, it looks like. Okay, let's use our ability. Stay away from me. Oh, I'm literally like electric. Underwater. This is so cool. Ow. A pulsar. Oh, nice. A diamond. Let's take all this. The loot in that chest was actually so good. So I decided to go look for some more. Maybe I could use it to help fight the Drown Lord. While I was exploring, I found this island that actually looked a lot like my home. When I got closer, there was something really weird on the side. It was really interesting. Wait. What is this? Why does this kind of look like a stronghold? Or like some type of room? Okay, um, I guess we'll go in. Oh god, there's mobs inside. Oh, there's a mob spawner. Okay, we're gonna take that out. Oh, it's so dark in here, I can't see anything. Okay, get rid of the mobs. Huh. 
Dirt and cobblestone. Wow. Saddle. Once I cleared it and I looked in all the chests, it wasn't really worth it. There was a few things in there that I could use, but otherwise, it was okay for loot. Diamonds. I love being a sea dragon. I could just spot anything at any time. Oh, this ability is so good, actually. Being able to see clear under the water was such a perk. Is that a chicken in the water? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Get out of here. Don't drown. Hey, buddy. Why do you look... Di you look kind of different. I did find a treasure map, and I wanted to find where X marked the spot to get some right, good loot. in here. Another one. Are these the same one? Yep. Same loot. That was a good time to use my ability, actually. Take that. Boom! Take that. Oh, look at him. Oh, then I can... Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the crab. Now I can use this one as well. Oh, yep. I'm learning the combos now. Die. Get away from me. Oh, my goodness. Stay away. Nice. And then I can combo with my hits. Lure. Fishing rod. Nice. There is one right here. <gasps> Applies level of looting to killed entities. Wait, I see it. Oh, nice. It's one of the first times I, I found it, like, right away. Whoa, what is this? Oh my goodness, what is this supposed to be? Oh, is this, oh, that is... Is this an underwater spider cave? Wait, I can't tell if the rest of this is... <gasps> There's a spawner. Let's get rid of that. Oh god. Ow, don't be stuck. Oh, this... Oh no! Get me out of here! Oh. Stay away! Oh! We'll grab all these sea pickles. Yeah, we love sea pickles. Wow, this biome is so pretty. We're gonna grab all this. Yeah. When I got back to the base, I placed all the sea cucumbers. They look so good. I even put them in my little pond. Oh my god. We're back. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're back here. What is going on? Oh my goodness, I can't even see. Maybe I can use my night vision here. Will it work? No, it doesn't work. Oh my god. This dimension is literally so dark. I can't even see the ground. Please be water here. <gasps> okay. What is going on? I wonder what's so different about these guys. When I got back to the base and returned to the water, there were so many more drowns. This was a good time for me to practice, and I think it was time for me to finally do something. And so I charged for the ocean monument. I had to save I'm my coming, mom. mom. Oh, let's break this first. Oh, God. Oh, ow. Okay, I don't want to get hit. You know, ow, ow. He hurts. They hurt. They hurt. Okay. Let's use our spell. Drag him out. Boom. Using my spells. Find them up. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, my God. It actually worked. First four. Cleared. Ow. Ow. Okay, stay away. Stay away. This guy's holding axes. Okay. I'm just going to back you up. And oh, my God. This works so well. I'm actually so strong. Take this. Oh, that's the wrong one. And then I had my first run in with the Drown Lord. There he was. He had a trident in hand. That had to be the guy who took my mother. I charged him with my skills, but his trident hurt so bad. I had to play this out very safe. But first, I had to clear all the levels. I'm actually so strong. Oh, stay away, stay away, stay away. Oh my god, my lightning is so strong. Break the spawner. I was able to electrocute all these soldiers and warriors. Here we go, here we go. Big bomb. Boom. Oh yeah, take that. Yes, sir. I did so much damage to them, and I was able to take out all the spawners. I combo both of my skills together. It worked so well. Once I cleared the whole structure, it was just me and the Drowned Lord. No other distractions. And so I went for it. I used all my abilities on him. We fought for what it seemed like for hours. Even during the fight, he fell out through this hole, and I didn't even know where he went. Then he threw a trident at me, and I went down for him. I had to be careful with my health. He was so strong, and I was eating so much food to make sure I didn't die. I tried to take it from a distance with all my abilities, but it seemed like I was doing no damage to him. But then he finally got stuck in a wall, it seemed like, and I used my abilities. And so I took it to my advantage, and I shot the final blow. Oh my god, did I actually finally kill it? Oh, it dropped some stuff too. Oh my god, I gotta see what this is. 
Oh. Dang, he had in his armor and his loot was so good. But then I returned back to the structure. There was a door. Mom, is that you? They have you caged up? Is that really you? I'm gonna get you out of there, I promise. Here. Come on. Let's get out of here before more come. Let's go, let's go. I was so happy to see her. We sat around for a while. But we had to get out of there before more reinforcements came. I dug a way out. She was a lot bigger than me, so I made sure the hole was pretty big. And then she followed. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. We were swimming back in the water. I told her to come home with me. I made a nice little base. We spent the rest of the day talking. It was so nice to see her. I learned so many things from her. After catching up and chatting, she gave me a bunch of these dragon hearts. She said she'd been waiting for me. Drown Lord's chest plate. Prot four. Oh my god, this is so strong. Thorns two. Prot. Yo. And. Wow. Prot four. Feather falling four. Thorns. Okay, this is insane. Actually, my boots broke too. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, now that I have this, will I swim even faster underwater? Oh wow. I was already fast underwater, but these boots are making me even faster. Sweet. Increases. Out of water survival time will help you stay alive a little longer in deserted regions of the nether. Okay, I would like this skill, please. I can upgrade it for 10 levels, but I think it might be worth it when I go to the nether. I learned some new abilities. I can now stay above land a little bit longer. I did craft a bunch of water bottles now that I was entering the nether. Okay, I gotta make sure this water bottle works. Oh, okay, the water bottle works perfectly. Okay, so it fills me up to literally full... Um, Hydration, as you can see on the bottom right. If I didn't want to dry out, I could just drink a water bottle and I'd be okay. This spawn in Nether was terrible though, so I swam out to another island and I built the Nether portal here. On this side, it was a little bit better, but I had to be careful. The slimes wanted to get at me too. After searching for a while, I finally found a bridge to a Nether fortress. I slowly lowered myself and I finally got myself down there. I tried using my abilities on them, but it didn't seem like it was doing that much. I guess their elements were a little bit different. I had to make sure I was staying on top of my water bottles because I did not want to dry out in the nether. I had to deal with the mobs and make sure I was still hydrated. I actually got so lucky I found a double blaze spawner. They were literally right beside each other. And so I charged into the spawners and I killed all the blazes. But as soon as I had enough, I was out of there. Next, I had to get some ender pearls. And of course, I went to an enchanted forest and killed as many endermen as possible. Once I got what I needed, I wanted to get out of there. There was no water in the nether. <laughs> Once I got back to the base, I thought it'd be a good time to finally eat the hearts my mother oh had my given god, me. Oh my god, I'm getting literally so big now. Yo! Oh my god, I'm so big now. I bet you no one wants to mess with me. Okay, 20 hearts is kind of a big deal, no? Oh my goodness. How tall am I now? Am I taller than two blocks? Three blocks. Wow. Okay. Now that I was a bigger, stronger dragon, I actually felt a lot safer and I wanted to go explore. And so it was time to go to the end. Crazy shark. Do, 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 do. You're crazy shark. Okay. Surely I kill it though. Yeah, I'm going to kill it. I'm the dragon of sea. Oh, whoa. It has a hold of me. Crazy shark, do 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 do. Whoa, dude, you literally just bite onto me. No, die, get off me. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't know what those crazy sharks were about, but I had to show them that I was the king of the sea. The ender pearls had finally led me somewhere, and so I dug down and I ran into this structure. I didn't know exactly what it was, but it was filled with zombies. Luckily, I used my abilities, and a lot of them died. I just ignored them. I kept digging, and I found the stronghold. I was so excited. Was I going to get my wings soon? I was going to finally be a real dragon. It was hard navigating through the fortress because I was so tall. And so I had to dig enough room for my head. Once I found the border room, I thought it was pretty interesting for me to be standing over as a dragon. But I was in the end. Oh goodness, we are here. Hello dragon, I was told if I come here, you will grant me wings. Hello ender dragon, please give me those wings. Grant me those wings. Wait, oh my goodness, I literally have wings now. Enderman, leave me alone. Let me have this. Okay, apparently if I jump into the void, I should be okay. Oh, man, I don't trust this. Please don't die. I was told I'd be safe. Oh, uh, is this the end screen for the end of the game? Or did I just die? Or Oh, my God, I'm actually back home. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, today's the day. Will I be able to fly? Here we go. Oh my god, I'm flying so fast! Oh my gosh, look at me! 
Oh, baby, I'm flying high in the sky. Woo! Oh, my God, this is so lit. Oh, my goodness, this is so cool. Oh, the views up here are so cool as well. Can I just go into the water? Oh, if I'm flying, I go into the water. Yes, sir. Guys, are you seeing this? I have wings. It was so much fun flying around. And as I was flying around, I saw my mother. She was hanging out in this pool on this island here. And so I approached her and I said, what's up? Look at my wings, mama. I'm flying. We sat there and chatted for a bit. She even showed me a few dragon tricks. She was spinning there. So I had to try too. And we sat there, mother and son, spinning around. And don't worry, guys. I know you guys were probably asking, you know, where have the betas been? They were in the bucket the whole time. So I had to make a tank that was right for them. First, I made a nice pink sand tank for this guy. And the other guy, well, this guy belonged in the water. This was the guy who taken out the other beta fish. I had to keep him separated. I didn't want anybody dying on me anymore. I was having a nap on top of the tree, and then I started hearing somebody down below. I recognized that voice. It had to be Puffy, and so I went down to the water. Wow, look at you. Look how far you've come. S since we've gotten to know each other pretty well, and you have some pretty big wings now, you think you could take me for a ride? So I went up to the surface, got a water bucket, I collected Puffy, put him in this bucket, and I wanted to go introduce him to my mother, but she wasn't there. I think now that I was a full-size dragon, she was done teaching me and she was proud of me, but now it was time for me to take the world on by myself. But at least I had my buddy Puffy. I was so excited for what was to come. 